Salam people, welcome to the new vlog. Today we're going to be unboxing my new camera. Yes, I finally got myself a new camera because I've been struggling uh, with the kind of uh, cameras I have. I have about nine cameras, so we'll get into that later on. But yeah, uh, let's do the unboxing of my new camera. Alright, so I'm going to check this. My new There we go, the Canon G7X Mark II. So guys, we're gonna unbox this particular bit. Uh, just to have a look at the box, I mean, it comes with Digix 7, which is the most latest processor. And you have the, it's of course 20.1 megapixel, uh, Wi-Fi and NFC. So it's good for you to transfer your content to your mobile. Um, if you have Wi-Fi or NFC, NFC on most latest mobiles, I'm sure you have it. And also, the only thing that this mobile doesn't have is it does not record in 4K. It's 1080p. So yeah, uh, let's see how this goes. Uh, oh, there's one more seal here. Void if. How do you expect it to be? I mean, how do they expect me to use the product without opening this? So you have the cord, luckily, thank you. I'm glad, although I know that you can uh, charge the Canon G7X Mark II with um, USB. This also makes sense. Ooh, there it is. looks beautiful wow i hope that wasn't my thumbprint i'm not sure i hope it is anyways wow that's beautiful so compared to its predecessor this wasn't there earlier so yeah i think it's 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 good to grip especially when you're vlogging so yeah we're gonna go in depth into this later let's see what we have we have batteries of course uh i've been told you need to get extra batteries just to you know, make sure that you don't lose out on those important shots and vlogs. There we go. Now, what else do we have? Oh, we have a standard Canon charger. That's good. Great. Uh, smaller than the... If you're using a 600D or DSLR, it's a little more bigger than this. Or the 1D. But yeah, this is good. And what's this? Oh, wow, cool. So you have the uh, Linard uh, camera band, what I call it. Mm. Okay. So just to go in depth with the camera, um, basically focal point 1.8, 2.8. Um, and why I bought this camera is because of this. Yes, it's very important for vlogging. I've been, I mean, I've never had issues in terms of uh, buying products because I used to check out reviews, I review them myself, but then I've had the biggest issues in terms of reviewing this and also the Sony RX105 um, or Mark V as they say. So these two cameras honestly have been such a difficult call for me to take, but then yeah, I mean, um, overall I finally settled on for this. You'll know the reason why when I do the comparison video between both of them. So stay tuned to that. And let's see how this goes. Wow. Nice. So I'm going to set the date and time. So guys, it has set an individual dial to control light. And of course your mode. That's the power button there you have the shutter and then of course zoom in zoom out standard positioning as well you have most of the functions here records here which is quite convenient so when you are holding it it's it's very well placed you see that you can just click on it and start recording and uh, what else do we have uh, 
standard MMC with the battery, positioning's there. That's Wi-Fi button there, and you have the HDMI, and you can also charge it by USB, like I said. So it's good that Canon came up with both, so you can charge it by USB as well as by power, by taking out the battery and putting it in the dock station. And uh, I think that's where the Wi-Fi cable is, or the Wi-Fi antenna. And then you have, you have the retractable flash. In terms of swivel, how does it go? It goes like that. So you can do like complete vlogging from the front. If you are at an incline, you can go like that. So that's how it looks. So you can put it up and you can see exactly the, how the output is. So yeah, and overall I feel the, the whole body is so sturdy. It's really good. So that's yeah. where the mic is. And that's where you'll need something like a dead cat to put on there so that uh, you manage to stay away from the wind noise and you, you really have some good voice clarity. What I loved most is touchscreen. So you see that there, focus on the box, focus on the Mac, beautiful, 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 beautiful. This is just amazing. Unfortunately, the, the G7X still doesn't have the uh, external um, mic. So that makes it a little difficult in terms of getting really good audio quality. But as long as you have your iPhone and you have a lapel mic, I think you're, you're sorted. I'm sure you guys have already seen a lot of reviews on the G7X Mark II. Um, the reason I settled down for this, like I said earlier, was of course the, the, the swivel screen, but most important bit, um, which I'll reveal most probably when we have the comparison between the Sony RX105 and the G7X Mark II. So yeah, I hope you liked it. And do like, share, subscribe, comment, and have a good day. Cheerio.